Wow, that sunset looks really nice. I wish I could take a picture of it. Oh wait, I can, with the camera on my iPhone. Wow, that is a really great picture. I think I'm gonna send it to all my friends now. Today, we don't really think about what goes into an invention. Just that someone a really long time ago invented it. Without cameras, we wouldn't know really much about anything really. Cultures, war, disasters, and there would be no way to capture an image to observe or share with others other than drawing it, which most of the time doesn't capture the full effect. The idea for the first real camera, so to speak, came from the use of photographic film. George Eastman was the one to introduce photographic film, and he went on to create what many consider the first camera, the Kodak, which was first offered for sale in 1888. You probably know Kodak is a really big company nowadays. That's because they continued camera production throughout the years. Later in camera development, in around 1913, a man by the name of Oscar Barnack decided to try to use 35mm Cine film while also attempting to create a small handheld camera device. He succeeded and in 1924 markets the design, calling it the Leica 1. 35mm cameras became a new thing. Canon, another current big time industry, hopped in the camera business around 1936 with their Canon 35mm rangefinder which became popular in the U.S. when Korean War veterans, who were stationed in Japan, brought them here. In 1928, the camera branched off into two directions, the TLRs and the SLRs. An SLR is a single-lens reflex camera, which is what is most common today, with the one lens on the front of the camera. A TLR is a twin-lens reflex camera, which actually has two lenses on the front. One is for viewing what you're taking a picture of, and the other is for actually taking the picture. First famous TLR was the Frank and Heidecke Roliflex. One of the oldest famous SLRs is the Ihagi Exacta, invented in 1933. Next, in 1948, an entirely new form of camera entered the market, the instant camera. Invented by Edward Land, instant cameras are cameras that use a patented chemical process to produce prints of the picture that you captured in under a minute. The Polaroid Model 95 was the first instant camera on the market. Digital cameras are very widely used today. They are handheld electronic cameras with screens to see what you are capturing in the photo. They also do not require film to be used. The first true digital camera that had video recording capabilities and memory cards to store the data was probably the Fuji DS1P in 1988. The camera itself was such an important invention. Try to imagine what life would have been like if there were no pictures other than drawings. No idea of what things look like or television shows. No movies, no images on the web, nothing. We don't really realize it, but we rely a huge amount on the camera today, not only in the United States of America, but around the world.